Hi everyone! So today I am going to be starting a new series again and following what's been done on YouTube, I'm basically doing a first impressions on a foundation product or any product in general but today will be a foundation product and I'm going to be doing a first impressions full day review of the Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 foundation. It's like this compact which is essentially a cream that's supposed to I guess dry with a matte finish. I'm not too sure but I'll basically link a few pointers here of what the claims are. And yeah, I'm just going to try two ways of application. I'm going to be using a flat brush as well as a beauty blender and see which is better. Alright, so I'm back. I just put a little bit of vitamin E facial oil just because my skin is really tight and I put on the simple moisturizer as well as just some protection on the dark spots. So yeah, that's my base done and I will just move on to applying the foundation. It's still in the pack. So it comes like that in this compact. And I'll insert close-ups. Actually, when you lift the lid, it looks like this. And there's this frame that has the concealer. And this is the main foundation. When you lift this lid up, you have a sponge as well. But I won't be using that because generally it's not very good. Yeah, I'll just be using a combination of a flat brush and a beauty blender, which is the Real Technique one. I'm not sure if you can tell, but upon first swatch, what is in the pan is actually darker than what is in the actual product. So when you go swatch the product, you will notice this. But just put it on your hand to make sure it's the right shade rather than judging based on the top. So I'm just going to take like two or three swipes. This off of my face has a lot more acne scarring, so we'll see how that covers. So if you can tell, this half of my face has been significantly neutralized. It feels really light on the skin but one thing I have noted while using the product is that I had to use quite a bit of the product. I mean technically not as much as two pumps or one and a half pumps of foundation but I had to keep taking swipes. So I mean that's the nature of the product but it's kind of annoying just cause you just don't want to go through the product so quickly also so you just want to see how much a little bit can go but apparently for my situation I need quite a bit just because my scarring is quite um, severe if that makes sense and yeah it gave me quite an even layer around my face when I used the brush and it didn't seem to apply patchy or streaky so yeah um, I quite like application with this brush and the feeling it gives me, I think the product itself will give you a semi-matte kind of finish but because I have my base on it gives me quite a dewy finish which I like but yeah that isn't the intention of the product. I so I'm just going to use a beauty blender on the other side. What the heck? Okay, so I'm mistaken. When I use the beauty blender just with one deep swipe, I'm covering like three quarters of the side of my face already. So I don't think it's the product's fault, but more so the application. So maybe using a damp beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge is actually um, much better if you want to save your product and if you want really negligible coverage. So I'm just going to take a little bit more for my forehead. So you can see the acne I have here. Um, it's on.
All right, so this is this side of my face. You can see certain um, acne scars and that kind of thing, but you know, it's it's minimized quite a bit, which I I'm fine with. And this side, so I'm just gonna go over with the beauty blender. I mean sponge. And yeah, I quite like it. I like the finish it gives me. It's really lightweight on the skin. And it's really quick and easy to use right from the compact. And you don't really have that mess on your hand when you squeeze out foundation from a bottle. Yeah, so let's move on to the concealer. So what I'll do is just release the catch. And yeah, you have the concealer here. So probably what I'll do is I will apply concealer on this side of the brush under my eye and blend it with the beauty the beauty sponge so the concealer is just slightly lighter than the foundation which begs me to ask the question is it just for under eye concealing or is it for all over the face so I'm not sure but for the sake of using a concealer I will just use the one given and I'll just use it all over my face but as you can see under my eyes it's significantly brightened and yeah it's really lightweight but the consistency is pretty thick so it might be better for spot concealing rather than under your eye where it's naturally going to get a little more dry. And that's me done. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you and give you my final thoughts. Yep, so I'm done with my makeup and I didn't really set it with powder. I just put a little powder blush but I didn't even do a contour so I can see truly how the foundation holds up. Yep, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to take a few pictures to show you what it looks like at the start of the day. And now it's about... I'll insert the timing here. <laughs> my phone is somewhere else. But yeah, and when I check back in, I'll give you my final thoughts, but just initial first impression thoughts. I think that this product provides about a solid medium. You can build it to a full coverage, it's just that you have to use quite a bit of product. I just think that this is pretty handy, like I much, much, much prefer this than the BB cushions and stuff like that. I prefer this so much more just because... I understand the functionality of a compact, but I don't understand why you would pay for a sponge which easily dries out and is exposed to air more readily. And at least for a cream compact, it's not a top layer, it's still exposed to air and maybe this Revlon package isn't the greatest, but it still performs like a cream foundation which I appreciate and with the concealer, it's really quick for an everyday work look and if you can tell from afar, I can't really fault it in any way. I mean, I have quite a bit of acne that's just like, you know, the way it is but I'm, I'm comfortable and I feel confident like that so yeah, but for generally for like a BB cushion, the coverage is negligible and it's so dewy that you have to set it with powder. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on that whole thing but for this specific product, I quite like it. For first impressions, I'll give it about a 7 to 8 out of 10. Nothing really more to add that I suggest if you have dry skin to treat your skin first so that this wouldn't cling to dry patches. So after I did it, it glided on really well. But I was thinking that if I didn't add my you know, skincare regime in the beginning, it will cling on to my dry patches. So use a facial oil, use moisturizer, use your sunblock before you use this. Yep, and that's pretty much all I have to say and I'll get back to you guys at the end of the day. Okay, so it's about 7pm now and yeah, this is how the foundation looks. I think you can sort of tell that it's really greasy now. And yeah, pretty much, I wouldn't say all gone, like you can still see redness peeking through in certain areas but overall I think it's pretty decent, like I don't hate the way I look, you know basically if that's the baseline do I hate the way I look, I don't. I found the under eye concealer to wear away quite quickly, I didn't really pick my eyes that much, only maybe the inner corners like once or twice. 
but even then it was it wasn't like a full on rubbing fest and the foundation around my nose wore away cause I, I'm a sneezer so it just like you know with tissue it naturally comes off and I didn't set it with powder so it wasn't gonna last that long anyway and yeah Mm, pretty much I think if you do want a more matte complexion what you need to do is moisturize your skin well before so that you don't have to put too much moisturizer under this foundation and concealer what you might want to do is also to set it with powder and yeah that'll pretty much give you a really good coverage but overall I just really like how quick and easy it was I found that with the brush on this side, I used a lot more product but with the Beauty Blender, it just went over really quickly and the thickness of the foundation just blended out so quick. And yeah, this sort of gives me a glimpse into how the RCMA foundation palette might be because it comes in that kind of like compact, pure pigment type formula, even though this, is, this may not be a pure pigment sort of foundation but it seems to be really medium to full coverage when you build it up and yeah I really like it so this is me doing the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 foundation and concealer compact and I'll be doing the L'Oreal True Match Genius foundation tomorrow so it's pretty much the same concept but it's also a cream compact type of thing just that it doesn't come with a concealer overall as my first impressions i pretty much like this foundation and i'll give it about a seven just because comparing it to my favorite drugstore foundation which is the bourgeois healthy mix serum it doesn't hold a candle that one really makes my skin look so natural and it makes me feel like i'm not really wearing anything which is good but some days i'm just like hmm my skin looks really boring like you know it's just really my skin which is what you want in a natural looking foundation but this you can tell that you have foundation on it's pretty good and within the color stay range i think it does its job by staying put and you know looking presentable in the workplace so if you like this review don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more i'll be doing a bunch of reviews on different products and it will just be in my playlist called product reviews so do check out other videos that i have done and also follow my blog and my other socials as well do remember to leave a comment if you want me to do something specific and with that i'll see you guys bye